back at Richmond Road Vet Clinic with Dr. Carrie Wynn. Carrie, good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, everybody getting ready for holidays, travel, all kinds of things like that. They've got a million things on their list. Yes. But don't leave the pets off your list Absolutely. and those little critters that can make their life difficult. Absolutely. We want to keep our pets in mind, especially keeping them on their preventions through the winter months, those sorts of things. Um, it's really important to do that even, even year-round. The two biggies aren't that big. They're small, but they're big fleas and ticks. Fleas and ticks, and we see lots of those even through the winter. Um, so dogs and cats especially, but even, you know, spending time outside, but inside cats too, um, really need to be on prevention. And, and that's what you were saying in terms of fleas. Those things are looking for warm places and that's like a cat or not. Exactly. So even if it's cold outside, they just need a little warm pet inside and the statistic most people don't like, but one flea can like 250 eggs a week. Oh <laughs> so it doesn't take long to get a flea infestation just from flea exposure, so definitely keep them protected. Okay, as far as ticks go, uh, we've got some beautiful surroundings out here where people go and hike and take their pets outside and it may be more important now than ever to make sure you check those animals for ticks. Yes, checking for ticks. Um, so Especially people hiking at the gorge and places like that, which are gorgeous, but lots of tick exposure. Even just though in your backyard, I found a tick on my own dog last year, just in our fenced-in yard. So they can be a little bit of everywhere. So checking them all over, especially paws, face, ears. That's where ticks especially like to live. Sure. And, and the thing about ticks, they're not really a problem unless you don't check and they're there for a long time and then they can cause some problems. Exactly. Ticks carry lots of diseases, fleas as well, but particularly things like Lyme disease, people have heard about those sorts of things and those things can take a few months before they start to show up after you actually see the tick. So um, things that might not go you know, detected right. on the surface. Last thing I, I want to ask you about, you talked about it earlier. A lot of people may think because it's not summer, they don't need to do it. It's important to have that prevention all year round. Yes, year round, especially here in Kentucky, you know, we can have a 70 degree day in January occasionally, so we want to keep them protected year round, but even on the inside, it's nice and warm for those bugs inside, so we want to keep them on prevention. Very great information. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. All right, and we're coming back with more Everyday Kentucky right after this.